Hey, it's Katie, and today I'm gonna be answering your questions. All right, first question from Brittany Fryman. What episode of Ninja Turtles do you like slash love? I like slash love the Creeping Doom episode. Um, the one with Lucy Lawless. I don't remember what the episode title is. Uh, that's an Andre question, but um, yes, I watched that one where Lucy Lawless played an awesome character. Um, so I'm gonna go with that one. That one's my favorite. Jamil Westering asked if you could be any Power Ranger, which color and season would you be and why? Ooh, that's such a tough question. Uh, I don't know. I mean, Mighty Morphin was my very favorite just because that's kind of what I grew up watching as a kid. Uh, and I always wanted to be Kimberly. I always thought she was amazing. So if I were to go with Mighty Morphin, then I'm gonna go with the Pink Ranger. And I know there's already a Teal Ranger or a Turquoise Ranger, um, but if I could kind of create my own colored ranger, I'd want to be like a teal ranger in a new season or or something like that. Have they had Rainbow Ranger yet? Because that would be awesome. <laughs> Just be all multicolored. Zach Stein asked, are you excited for Captain America Civil War? If so, what side are you on? A bunch of you guys asked me if I was Team Cap or Team Iron Man. I honestly think my answer is going to change once I see the movie. But for now, I'm Team Iron Man, but I mean, the trailer for Civil War kind of makes me want to be Team Cap. And you guys know I don't say that lightly. Simon Cirillo said, a movie you want to see made into a video game. So it's kind of had a few games, but I would love a Harry Potter open world game like Skyrim, but Harry Potter. So you could kind of go anywhere and everywhere that you wanted, and you'd have to fight with magic, and you'd be able to play Quidditch. I just think Harry Potter lends itself to having so many opportunities, especially for a game, you know, because you'd obviously have like Voldemort being the, the big, big, big boss guy that you're trying to defeat throughout the entire game, but at the same time, there are so many side quests that you could go on, um, learn new types of magic, uh, I just think that'd be so much fun. I feel like maybe the time has passed for that type of game to come out. But if they made a super epic Harry Potter video game, I would play it in a heartbeat. I think it would be so much fun. Especially if it was action RPG style. I just think that'd be awesome. Uh, next question from Eric Lara. How many times have you lost to Andre in your guys' Black Ops 3 gameplays? First of all, define losing because sometimes he's on a winning team and I'm on the losing team, but I had more points. So yeah, there have been a few times that I've lost. Um, I think we even have some uh, gameplay where my team ended up losing in the end, because uh, I was more focused on kills than like staying in the hard point. So yeah, there, there's been times. It's, it's not unheard of, it just kind of depends what we're doing. Yeah, I, I don't know. All right, next question from Sasha Botcher. I hope I said that right, I'm sorry. Uh, when will you do something medieval again or maybe a new song? That is a great question because those are definitely things that I love doing and would love to do them every single week if I could. And hopefully one day I will be able to make more of those, but I'm currently working on a tiny little music video, um, so I'm hoping that it all works out and you guys will see it very soon. But yeah, questions like that are the reason that I started my Patreon page because I wanted to be able to make more medieval things. I have so many ideas for short films, sketches, even uh, an awesome epic series for my channel. Um, and I have lots of music video ideas. So I wanna be able to make all of these because I know you guys would just love them. Uh, but I just can't do it on my own. So eventually we'll get there. And uh, if you want to contribute to that, you can check out my Patreon page. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below uh, and you can you can check that out. Mark Jason Ali asked, which TV series that you currently watch would you want to be a part of and which would you not? Wow, that's a good question. Okay, it's kind of easy. I have, I have two shows that I would want to be on above pretty much everything else. Um, the Hundred being the first one, and I would love to be on The Walking Dead. Uh, I just, it would be such an awesome show to be on. I know a lot of you guys are like, oh my gosh, why didn't you pick Game of Thrones? Um, because there's not really a character yet that I would necessarily want to be, but definitely The Hundred I think would be a perfect show for me. I would be so awesome on The Hundred. 
um, as well as Walking Dead. I'd be awesome. Killing zombies, that'd be so fun. And then a show that I would not want to be a part of? I don't know. Uh, there's not really a show that I can think of off the top of my head that I'm like, no, I would hate to be a part of that. <laughs> Kevin Helgerson asks, besides The 100, which franchise would you love to see made into Funko Pops? That's a good question. Um, I want Xena Funko Pops. Uh, just for my own collection, just because I'm such a huge fan. That would be amazing, uh, and maybe with all this reboot talk, uh, they'll make some Xena Gabrielle uh, Funko Pops. That would be amazing. <laughs> but I would also love to see Pokemon Funko Pops. That would be awesome. Um, or Nintendo characters in general would be really cool. Andrew Kim asks, is there a really huge cosplay you would love to do if you ever had the time and the money? Gosh, that's a really tough question. I've always wanted to cosplay as Samus. I just think that would be so much fun. Um, but getting the armor and the costume to be Samus is super duper expensive. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know. I just think it would be so much fun to to cosplay as Samus because she's such an incredible character. I would also love to do uh, Sheik from Legend of Zelda. I think that one would be really amazing. So yeah, those are the two off the top of my head that I would pick. I don't know if those are considered huge cosplays uh, because I've seen some really, really incredible uh, cosplayers that ride on like robots and have giant cars and really amazing things that are attached to their cosplay, but yeah, I don't know, I'm kind of simple. I just want to be Samus and Sheik. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Well guys, thank you so much for your questions. I really appreciate it. If you have a question for me, leave it in the comments below, or I usually ask for all my questions over on my Facebook page, so make sure you're following that as well. And I want to know from you guys, Team Cap, Team Iron Man, you can only choose one. I'm so stoked for the movie, and I want to know who you guys will pick. Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe.